Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cynic Alex, and today we're taking a look at Taskmaster's new uniform for Marvel's Black Widow. We're doing a deeper dive here, and we are going to do a comparison between him and his regular outfit. Now, I will say this. I do come into the video, and I do come into the uniform with a disposition and a bias towards picturing Taskmaster as basically... It's, it's a uniform for the passive. It's a uniform for the support passive. So... I would not compare Taskmaster's value. I would not compare Taskmaster's worth as a standalone character to someone like Mystique, but he is way cheaper than Mystique. You get a free six-star Taskmaster for just playing the legendary battle. You can get him to tier two for free easily with weekly Shadowland bios, and then you just have to pay 1,000 crystals, right, for the uniform, whereas Mystique is 2,500 just to get her at six stars. And then you either have to drop a mega tier two ticket, which is worth another 4,000 crystals, or you have to buy the crystal packs for her bio. So you're talking like six times more expensive to get Mystique rather than uh, Taskmaster. Now, if you only care about the uniform effect, the, the support buff for Mystique and Taskmaster, then of course he's six times cheaper, but he's not gonna be, he's not gonna be you know, as good as Mystique is as a standalone character. Now, here's what they changed as far as his uniform goes. They didn't, they didn't change much, although they do, they do say that they changed five of his skills. That is baloney, they did not. They added, listen, they added like stun and shock and like silly things to his skills. They did bump up his all defense down uh, to minus 55 from minus 45 on both of his skills, Grenade Shockwave and Masterclass Merc. And then they did remove the small iframe in Arrow Storm. Now, I'm not quite sure why, why they removed the iframe. It was a very short iframe. It was not reliable, but it was something. And you know what? That's what Taskmaster needs. He needs something. He's not quite a good enough character on his own. He's godly as a support. So if you're buying the uniform for the support, you don't have to have any further justification. A thousand crystals for this level of support is fantastic. You're not going to find a better deal anywhere else. Because like I said, the only other support like this is 6,000 crystals. It's Mystique, right? But as a standalone character, I definitely think they should have done more for him. He is the villain of the movie, right? We sort of feel, it sort of feels like we're in a, we're in a Killmonger situation again, where... Uh, Killmonger gets a uniform, he gets a base look, and yet he's just not really good enough with either. The difference being, Killmonger had no value uh, besides his uniform being traded in for a CTP, whereas Taskmaster does have some value as a standalone character. He's very good for Shadowland, I will say that, um, but he's not going to blow you away like Mystique will in things like World Boss. Now, the other thing I want to talk about before we get into the content and we do the comparison is you also have to weigh the value of the Taskmaster uniform uh, if you consider whether you're going to be purchasing the uh, extreme pack or not, because instead of paying 2,500 crystals, you pay basically 3,500 crystals for his uniform and the pack, and you walk away with a CTP of insight once you level it up. So 3,500 crystals for all of the rewards plus the CTP of insight, or you could look at it as a thousand extra crystals for the CTP of insight. If you're going to buy this anyways, it's a pretty good deal. Getting a newer CTP for a thousand crystals is a app an absolute steal and the ctp of insight in case you're wondering is the best support ctp in the game so a lot of players are seeing this as a sort of a sign to just get taskmaster's uniform get the legendary battle and then slap this insight on taskmaster and it's not a bad it's not a bad idea it's really not a bad idea at all i would honestly recommend giving the ctp of insight to someone that you use in pvp a lot because you can also use them in world boss so there's flexibility there there's more value um so i my first one actually went on colossus but Colossus is also a good standalone character, so some people don't like that. They got a fire damage obelisk on him or something a little bit better. Um, other good options for the CTP, of course, Shuri, Coulson, Valkyrie. Um, generally, the ones that apply to all heroes and villains, so Valkyrie and Shuri, are more valuable than Coulson and Wave, but you can still give it to them. And then, of course, Mystique and Taskmaster. The only difference being Mystique is a very strong character, so a lot of people put, you know, recommend or put CTPs of Energy or Rage on her because she does a lot of work in ABX and squad battle. Taskmaster probably won't do nearly as much, so that's why he's being sort of relegated, right? If you can't go to the top, you might as well just cut your losses and build him as a support-only character. But even if you don't get the Legendary Battle, you pay 1,000 Crystals, and in return, you will get uh, 600,000 Gold, 200 Black Antimatter, and 15 Level 5 XP Chips. That's not bad. Remember, each XP Chip gives you, I believe, 2,300 XP, so you are looking at an additional 34,000 XP, which is equal to 345 runs of a stage. 
that gives you 100 XP per, or you know, 345 level one XP chips. So that's a lot of ABX. So <laughs> I'm sad now. Anywho, let's go into some gameplay and we'll test him out first. Let's give you a brief reminder of how he plays uh, without his uniform. I believe his leadership is the same, but his leadership is so good for himself. You know, dodge, all speed, and then all attack, all defense. Just crazy. He's got one of the best leaderships in the game. But, of course, it only applies to him. And we are going to be taking him up against... You know what? Let's try him against Quicksilver. I'm always fighting Proxima. It is kind of boring to fight Proxima this much. So let's see how he does against a stage... 60 is a little bit too high. We've, we've got pretty high against Quicksilver. Let's try him against a stage 45 of Quicksilver. Uh, and we just need to bring along enough Ignore Dodge. So he's got, I believe he's got a bit on his own. He's got from his passive, right? He's got 20%. So right now he's at 23. So we just need to make up the last 80%. Okay, here we go. Stage 45. We brought along uh, two strikers along with Wiccan and Ronan. Wiccan and Ronan are both giving 20%. So that's an extra 40 to go on with my 20 is 60. And then the two strikers there are going to bring along another uh, 40. So that's 100%. So we have 100% ignore dodge. Now, his damage is not very good. You can see you can kind of rely on that iframe a little bit from time to time, but the damage is not hot, even though it's stage 45 and he's got his own leadership and he's got his own passive. He's going to obviously do a lot more damage with his own passive. Um, you can sort of you can sort of compensate for this in testing. Honestly, I don't think you're going to see a big jump in his damage if you if you uh, account for his passive. There we just died. So he's not doing a very good job. You can go to a lower stage, but I think what we're going to see is, you know, the damage is going to go up. Okay, let's go to 35 or 36, 35. The damage is going to go up. We got 20 and 20 is, is 40 and then 40 there. The damage is going to go up because of the passive. I think if I were to, you know, add an extra striker and then swap, let's say, Wiccan for Valkyrie. So he gets the 45% increased damage. Actually, you know what? He won't get any damage against superheroes. Um, let's say we swapped Valkyrie or we swapped, um, we swapped Wiccan for Mystique, right? And then we didn't use Mystique when we used the Uniformed Taskmaster. I honestly don't think there's going to be a big change in his damage. Uh, the only real change that I see is... Wow, he dies so fast. My God. Quicksilver just, just dices him. Okay, you know what? We are going to control for the extra bump in damage. So, we brought along Shuri and Colossus. We're back here against Proxima. I know what you're thinking, but we just cannot keep this dude alive otherwise. So... Let's just go with what we got and see what happens here. Um, so we've got the extra damage against supervillains, the 45%. And so now we're going to see... Uh, see, I mean, you can sort of use the iframe a little bit, but uh, you'll, we'll see how much damage he actually does. I think, I honestly do think that his, um, his, his new all defense down coupled with the uh, more hits. He actually does have more hits. You can kind of visibly see it on five especially. There's a lot more arrows. Um... But there was more, I think there was more sort of strategy in face tanking with his, with this uniform because of the iframe on two and the iframe on three, where you could sort of just do that and then combo it like that and do that. So, but you can see the damage is not impressive, despite the fact that we have Shuri, despite the fact that we have a crit damage 180 proc, I believe. We have all defense down. We've got a lot. Um, and we've got a CTP of insight from Colossus, as I mentioned. So we almost got down to 11 bars in a minute. Now what we're going to do is equip his uniform. He's going to gain 40% damage against supervillains. So then we're going to take Shuri off the team to control for that as best we can. It's a 5% difference. It's not exactly perfect, but it's close enough. And we will see. We're just going to add like a random character that's not going to bring anything to the team like him. And now we are going to see how much this damage really goes up by. I am not expecting a huge bump in the damage. Um, I think if I were to fix Taskmaster, if you're wondering what I would do to make him better, because I like support characters, but I in, in this game, in Marvel Future Fight, I don't think it's really fair to make a character only a support character. I think they need to be a little bit more than that. You'll see he's got more arrows, though. You can see there's sort of more arrows on um, 5 there. I don't know why 4 is not an iframe. So I definitely would make 4 an iframe if it was me, if I worked at Netmarble. Um, I would make 4 an iframe. You can see 5 definitely has a lot more damage than before. And because of the additional 10% all defense down, you can't really discount that 10%, right? 10% is a lot for all defense, especially when you're talking about a number as high as that. Now, we did mess up his rotation, so we're not proccing on 5 anymore. Obviously, I just tried to proc on 4, and it was an absolute disaster, so that's that kind of sucks. Um, and I would give him, like, even just a 2 or 3 second immunity on his third skill. I think that would 
help him a lot. You know, an extra iframe and a little bit of immunity would go a long way because otherwise he ends up face tanking here and taking a lot of damage. So that was actually really good. I was surprised. Again, I went into this, I went into this with the assumption that his uniform would not be uh much of a rework at all but as you can see the fourth skill does no damage though it's kind of disappointing he does all his damage on five and three but as you can see um we did you know we we were about 15 seconds faster on triggering the 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 next stage and then we lost time because we had to dodge the spears but in about the same time we got down you know about two bars more worth two two bars more worth of damage and that is when we control for his uniform. So they definitely did increase his base damage by, I would say, at least 10-15%, which is not bad. Um, I still think he needs a little bit more. He still seems squishy, which is unfortunate. So if you wanted to make Taskmaster work, in my opinion, you didn't want to give him an insight. You didn't want to make him just like a full support, you know, workhorse. You actually wanted to play with him in content. I think you could make it work with something like a CTP of Authority. The reason why I suggest a CTP of Authority specifically is because there is a really... It's a nice, it's cute. It, I don't, I'm not saying it's going to be super powerful, but there is a pretty nice and pretty uh, thematic synergy. Not, not thematic, but anyways, it's a cool synergy with his absolute dodge passive. So you would basically give him a CTP of authority that triggers when your HP is below 50% or below 40%. And then you would get that guaranteed dodge. And then you would also get the invincibility of your authority. And then you'd also get the accumulation. And if you notice, it accumulates 100% of true damage regardless of defense and dodge so even if okay you're fighting as taskmaster you take damage okay you drop to 50 percent your invincibility bubble pops your 40 percent guaranteed dodge pops even if you're attacking someone even if someone's attacking you in pvp and they are penetrating your invincibility if you dodge it because of his absolute dodge you will still get that accumulation and then you can still get you know 50 percent damage buff for 50 percent attack buff for seven seconds so that's not bad at all. It's not, you know, it's not God tier. It's not a CTP of Rage, but it's not bad at all. And so that could work, and that could make him, you know, a little bit more functional for PvP on your PvP team. And it could also make him decent for, for PvE and maybe a different way of playing where you kind of want to get hit and then you want to sit in that 50% range of, of HP like you do with uh, Victorious and other characters. So, yeah, I'm going to explore a little bit more. I'm probably going to test him with the CTP of Authority first. Ultimately, I think a lot of players are going to end up just slapping a CTP of Insight on him and making him a, another Shuri or another Phil Coulson. But I do wish the Taskmaster had more to him than that because I think he's a more interesting character than Phil Coulson. Um, and he just doesn't get enough. He didn't get enough with this uniform as far as gameplay changes are concerned. Aesthetically, yes. But I think they could have done more for his gameplay. So let me know what you guys think of Taskmaster. I'm a little bit pleasantly surprised about his increased damage. Hit me up in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Take care.